From the opinion pages of the Wall Street Journal, this is Potomac Watch. The Energy Department and the Federal Bureau of Investigation say they believe the COVID-19 pandemic began with a lab leak. Welcome, I'm Kyle Peterson with the Wall Street Journal. We are joined today by my colleagues, columnist Alicia Finley and editorial board member Mene Ukwe Barua. The Wall Street Journal had a huge scoop on Sunday saying that the U.S. Department of Energy had concluded that the COVID-19 virus began with a lab leak in Wuhan, China. And one thing that I would think is important to say at the outset here, Alicia, is there were some comments. The Daily Show made a joke that uh, the host was waiting for the DMV to weigh in here. But correct me if I'm wrong, the Energy Department has some real serious expertise on the biological side as well, doesn't it? Right. So I think people forget that the Energy Department oversees our national laboratories and does actually do a lot of studying on biotechnology and emerging biological and chemical threats, in addition to overseeing your nuclear technology. So it has particular expertise actually in the scientific realm. And actually, if you go to their website, they note that we employ world-class facilities and up-to-the-minute advances in the biosciences, physical sciences, Sciences, nanotechnology and imaging and measurement science to solve problems and matter. And this also involves genomics, molecular technology, and nanotechnology. So if I were to guess what they were doing is, one, they have expertise in what happens in labs and how potentially you could get a lab leak. But I'd also guess that they had carefully examined actually this genetic sequence of the virus, and that's how they came to their conclusion. The other thing that was notable about the journal's story is that apparently the Department of Energy's judgment was based on, quote, new intelligence. And we don't know what that new intelligence is, but this story has reignited the long debate over COVID's origins. And then adding to this whole mix this week was the FBI director, Christopher Wray. Here is what he said on Fox News on Tuesday. The FBI has for quite some time now assessed that the origins of the pandemic are most likely a potential lab incident in Wuhan. Let me step back for a second. You know, the FBI has folks, agents, professionals, analysts, virologists, microbiologists, et cetera, who focus specifically on the dangers of biological threats, which include things like novel viruses like COVID, uh, and the concerns that they're in the wrong hands, some bad guys, a hostile nation state, a terrorist, a criminal, uh, the threats that those could pose. So here you're talking about a potential leak from a Chinese government-controlled lab that killed millions of Americans. And that's precisely what that capability uh, was designed for. Let's also listen to a White House spokesman, John Kirby, on Monday. This is him speaking before the FBI director there, but responding to the story on the Department of Energy's conclusion. There is not a consensus right now in the U.S. government about exactly how COVID started. Uh, there is just not an intelligence community consensus. And I would add that one of the things the president did was he he's the one who tasked the national labs, which were put up through the Department of Energy, to study this as well. So it wasn't just an effort that was confined to the intelligence community. That work is still ongoing. But the president believes it's really important that we continue that work and that we find out as best we can how it started so that we can better prevent a future pandemic. What the president wants is facts. Manet, what do you make of this? And it's true, as John Kirby says there, that the intelligence community is divided on this question. There are some agencies who believe the lab leak thesis is the most likely one. There are other agencies who think that a natural origin of COVID evolving, essentially jumping over species barriers is more probable. And they have varying weights of confidence on these judgments, too. The Department of Energy's analysis is given with low confidence. And so it makes it hard to know which way to fall here. But at least it seems like both of these options are still live and on the table. Yeah, it's a very odd situation to be in to have the intelligence community and other top U.S. agencies in disagreement publicly about such an important question. I think the most charitable way that you could possibly interpret the disagreement is that this is live science taking place before our eyes. 
these agencies probably are reviewing somewhat different evidence or at least assigning different weights to different sorts of evidence. And you have intelligent, competent people coming to different conclusions, which hopefully will be hashed out. But I think that the public could be forgiven for being a little bit more suspicious and thinking these agencies probably have looked at largely the same intelligence. You would hope that they're sharing it with each other. And if there are certain ones that are coming to different conclusions or who are unwilling to say that they think a lab leak might be the most likely origin of the virus, it's possible that they're doing so for politicized reasons. And obviously the course of the entire pandemic beginning in March 2020 has showed us that a lot of the U.S. public health bureaucracy is willing and able to politicize its evaluation of the science when it thinks it has a reason to do that. And so whatever the reason for the disagreement is, I do think that the White House should be making sure that the people who are disagreeing are getting together and conferring about their differences and that we are able to come to a unified conclusion about what we think the most likely origin was because it's going to have consequences. If we do believe that the lab leak was the real origin, then that should demand a united U.S. response. There should be a demand that investigators from around the world be able to more closely inspect the lab and to get evidence that China has been withholding. And so that should be the direction that we're going. How can we get to a consensus? And what are we going to ask China to do or say in response if we do decide that we believe the lab leak is true? What makes the endorsement of the lab leak hypothesis by these serious agencies all the more notable, though, is I think, Alicia, how quickly and for how long the lab leak hypothesis was ruled out by public health experts who treated it generally as kind of a conspiracy theory. And it seemed like that broke sometime last year and people began really thinking about it as a real possibility. But Alicia, to what do you attribute that early group think that was ruling out the lab leak hypothesis even before I think we really had enough evidence to make a judgment one way or the other. What's interesting about this is so The Intercept actually produced or did a report last month or January in which it got some redacted emails between Anthony Fauci and some other scientists from very early on in the pandemic, and they were confronted with evidence of the virus, and they were concerned that there were conspiracy theories that were starting to circulate, that this was a lab leak. What's interesting is that Fauci's first impression was, well, yes, this came from a lab. This did was not a zoonotic origin. There wasn't a spillover from an animal, bat, or pangolins. The genetic sequence of the virus actually pointed to a lab leak, and that actually has to do with a fern cleavage site on the virus that is not present in any other coronaviruses that are known with a similar lineage. And what makes this fern cleavage site interesting is that it makes it much more infectious to humans. And so other viruses like HIV have it, the avian flu has it, but other viruses that are really very dangerous, but also that bind to the human cell easily have this cleavage site, but no other coronavirus that are similar to this one that they sequenced had that site. So that initially suggested that, well, there was some kind of experimentation going on. Maybe it wasn't malicious in itself, but there were some lab experiments. It's very easy when you don't have very good security protocols in place. And just an aside, I have a friend who is uh, an infectious disease or a researcher, and she actually visited Chinese labs couple years before the pandemic and was just stunned about the low security protocols that they have in these labs. So it's very easy for a virus and when you're experimenting with it to infect a human or perhaps infect a mouse and then it to get out into the wild or into communities and start spreading. I think the reason why they really tried to stifle this or really kind of promote that this isn't a lab leak, this is just a natural spillover event. I think one, the NIH was involved in funding gain of research in China through an Eco Health Alliance nonprofit. So obviously, Fauci had his own institutional incentive to downplay this. 
But I think another reason is the public health or officials were really worried more that if they pinned this on China and the lab leak, that it would just close up. And they were really relying on China for information about the virus early on in the pandemic. And they want to maintain or keep China transparent. And if you recall with SARS, they weren't transparent about anything and they were rebuked later. But we were really trying to kind of encourage China to be transparent by not criticizing it too much. And I think that was actually a mistake. Maybe there are some people on the left who are worried about racism and that if you claim that this was Chinese made, people would turn against Asians. I think there are some of that also going on. But I think also the, you know, the fundamental issue is like Trump kind of embraced this idea that this was a lab leak. And reflexively, much of the scientific community, which in public health community, which tends to lean left, they reflexively then just opposed it and kind of dug in. (laughs) 